more fallout over the woke world of Disney and its fight to repeal Florida's parental rights bill. As one employee reveals, the, quote, silent majority actually agrees with the bill. I think they're making a terrible miscalculation that, you know, ultimately may be bad, will be bad for business. The left, they talk about democracy after this election. And so what about our democracy right now? You know, the people of Florida, a lot of Disney customers voted for our state legislature. These are duly elected members of the uh, Florida House of Representatives and the Florida Senate who passed this bill. The small minority within the Walt Disney Company that's part of the LGBT community are, are screaming the loudest. Fox News contributor Laura Trump joins us now. Laura, he works at Disney. He's running for Congress down in your state in Florida. He's speaking out against Disney backing uh, this small minority, he says, of people that are not for this parental rights bill. What's, what are your thoughts? What's your reaction? Well, I mean, Ainsley, as a parent, you know, I, I think about the parents for the past several decades who have turned to Disney for wholesome, family-friendly entertainment and not some political agenda, not a political narrative. Um, and it, it could have been very easy. It should have been very easy for Disney here to just say a blanket statement. We remain apolitical. We will not get involved in this. Of course, that's not what they did. And, and it's pretty clear based on the statements that Disney put out, they didn't even bother to actually read what is in this bill. Neither did uh, the mainstream media who has been pushing the don't say gay bill. It does, I mean, we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. Neither did the, uh, the folks that were protesting Disney to do something about this. For anyone interested, Ainsley, you just said it. It is the parental rights bill. It is not called the don't say gay bill. And gay isn't even in there. All this bill says, if Disney is interested in listening to it, because I think they may want to hear this, is that in the state of Florida, you're not allowed in public schools to talk about sex or sexual orientation with kindergartners, gardeners, first graders, second graders, and third graders. I mean, basic stuff, that is common sense. I don't know why you would even be discussing that in general, but no different than other major corporations that have jumped in the fray and had to get involved in anything woke, like we saw the MLB All-Star Game last year moved from Atlanta to Colorado over a voting rights bill, a bill that would have made voting more secure. They can't help themselves but to get involved. And it is always the wrong move when major corporations opine on these things. As you just heard from that gentleman there, they are alienating half of their audience, half of the people that pay to go to Disney, that pay for subscriptions. Perhaps they themselves do not agree with what you are doing. So I guess until they feel it in their bottom line and their in their pocketbooks and then at the end of the year when they're not making as much money, Disney will continue to do nonsensical things like this. But I got to tell you, Ainsley, as a parent, I am very curious as to why we are encouraging our kids to grow up faster. Man, you get such a short window mm -hmm. of time to be a kid, to not have to deal with these sort of things. The fact that we are trying to accelerate our kids in this direction is incredibly concerning for me as a parent. Disney should have stayed out of it, but like all the other woke corporations out there, I guess they couldn't help themselves. Do you think people will start boycotting Disney? I think we've seen a lot of people actually already starting to do that. So I think you're going to see more interesting to watch. Laura, thank you so much for coming on with us.